What do you think of the events at Pemberton? What do I think? Mm -hmm. Another example of a stupid mentality of the mob. She's known to everyone as Officer, Sheila, the most powerful figure in the orange hierarchy. Tell them that they think too much of themselves. What and I you? don't think that much of Pemberton people. The well, people of Pemberton can expect no television. sympathy from her. It's the same hard line we found when we filmed at Rajneeshi headquarters in Oregon last year. They're patient, they're loyal, and they're very hot. 15,000 faithful subjects waiting for their messiah. But this messiah doesn't come on a donkey. Bhagwan, as he's known, glides slowly past in the air-conditioned comfort of his Rolls Royce. You can look into my eyes and you can see it. Religion is a sort of intoxication. His critics say he's this off the planet and understood. over the moon. This 52-year-old ex-philosophy professor turned guru. Intoxication. The world first got to know about Bhagwan through films like this. Made it his commune back in India. He calls them therapy sessions designed to cure your sexual hang-ups. The orange people won't let you film therapy sessions anymore. But still, Bhagwan's message to his followers is, don't hide your feelings. And that's given him labels like the free love guru. Are your Rajneeshis encouraged to play out their sexual fantasies? To indulge in free love multiple times? Rajneeshis are taught not to enter into any phony sexual suppressions. Radnishis are taught not to be like Queen of England, who's afraid to show her tits. A marksman with a sniper's rifle. If you think it looks sinister, that's just the way Sheila wants it to be. No sheriff ever toted a gun like this. Bhagwan calls them his peace force. And they're never far away. Even this much security is not enough. You really think you need those guns and those revolvers? You're absolutely correct. We do need it, we will have it, and we are all trained for it. If someone tried to attack him here, would those men use those guns? Absolutely. They'd 100%. shoot? They'd... Absolutely. Have Without any failure, and it will go straight bullseye. You're absolutely serious that that man there, if someone attacked him, he'd use his gun? You're damn right. I'll be the first one to use it. That was part of the story we filmed last July. Since then, the state of Oregon has challenged the legal status of that city the Rajneeshis built. If they get kicked out of Oregon, the people of Pemberton in Western Australia are wondering, might they decide to come here? We are not a small, insular bunch of hillbillies that are rejecting these people simply because of their religious beliefs or the way they look or anything. It's simply numbers. And I think that the rest of Australia is sitting back and saying, thank goodness it's not us. Let them stay at Pemberton. I think their sexual practices I disagree with and the fact that there's a mass of them makes me dislike them coming to my town. The good folk of Pemberton. Never before have they been so frightened and confused. Their little timber town has survived bushfires, droughts, two world wars and a depression. But can it survive, they wonder, an invasion by disciples of an Indian guru who rides around in a Rolls Royce preaching free love. I think if there's a thousand even orange people, let alone 15,000 that are in Oregon, move into Pemberton, it's going to change the whole complexion of the town that I enjoy living in, that I've chosen to live in. Bigots? Certainly not.
old-fashioned, well, if that means holding to some old values, then the people of Pemberton say, you can call us that. They see themselves as the kind of folk who've made this place what it is today. A closely knit community which believes in things like marriage, the family. No place, they say, for a bunch of sex-happy hippies or their millionaire Indian guru. To the Orange people and Bhagwan, the message is, stay out of Pemerton. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Lord, bless this night. Bless our people. So Pemberton gets ready to meet an orange invasion. There's standing room only as two-thirds of the town packs into the local hall. Even a bomb scare doesn't keep them away. Are you aware of the bomb threat here this afternoon? Of the wit? The bomb threat made here? No. Well, there was a bomb threat made this afternoon. Was it? The premises have been checked, thoroughly searched this afternoon and again this evening. We're advising you so that you are aware of it. Um, we must treat it as serious, so you enter, you do so at your own risk. Yes. As long as you want to land there anyway. They're mostly farmers and timber workers. Some have hardly even heard of Bhagwan Sri Rajneesh. We should treasure what we have here, respect it, and don't give it away. But what makes them so sure that the Orange people have their sights set on Pemberton? This is what makes them so sure. You see, the Rajneeshis have already arrived. Just out of town, they're turning a tourist lodge into a school. A boarding school for little oranges. Do you think they have any reason to feel threatened? As far as their religion is concerned, yes, they do have reason to feel threatened. It's a dead religion. It's not a lie. They, they get conditioned through fear and manipulation. Once you listen, you cannot escape from it. A new generation of Rajneeshis, some just three years old. I become associated. Their mums and dads are someplace else. They'll take turns coming here to look after each other's children. Just a short drive from the school, something else the locals are worried about. A Rajneeshi building company has started work on 15 chalets. Beautiful, isn't it? it is indeed. They're for anyone who wants to spend a holiday beside a lake trout fishing or bushwalking through eucalypt forests. It's for tourists. It's a tourist development. This is the tourist part of the property. And we've signed documents... Swami this Prem Prabhat. That means Mr. Love Dawn, a Perth architect who turned orange. It's a wonderful place to come for a holiday. You don't have to believe in the orange people? Definitely not. We've had people down here who have been perfectly happy to be on holiday down here. An application to construct an additional 15 holiday chalets and uh, to convert the existing lodge into an open country school. The Shire councillors hold a special meeting. They've come together to decide whether or not the orange projects can go ahead. To be or not to be in Pemberton is the question. Not to be is the answer. Council resolves to refuse the application to convert Carry Valley Lodge to an open country school. We'll put that motion, those in favour? Against? Okay. I think it's pretty sick. That's all I can say. I think it's sick. Such religious discrimination has never been seen before. You said because of the circumstances and you won't say what the circumstances are. What are the circumstances? It has already been said that there are no technical reasons why this shouldn't pass. There's no technical law that we've transgressed at all. I don't think the law is an issue. What are the circumstances? There is no law here. Can't you see? It's obvious that there's no law. They don't believe in the law. I'm sorry to I realise I've been asked to leave. But this is inhuman, what's going on here. And I hope you guys can't sleep tonight. Excuse me, gentlemen, would you mind leaving the gallery? There won't be a school, and work on the chalets must stop. We're, um, we're going to be here and we're going to stay here because we have a legal right to be here. Right? I mean, people cannot make a moral judgment of us. That would mean that if we were a Catholic institution and we came down here, 
and wanted to establish a Catholic school and build tourist chalets for a Catholic business, would we be denied the rights? Why should we be denied the rights that every other religion in Australia is granted? See, the orange people would say that you're a bunch of bigots who are opposed to anyone who's different. It's silly to say that because this town is a multicultural community. People are different. They all dress differently. And the Pemberton folk point to things like this. Those therapy sessions are a bit way out for them. The thought that there could be thousands of people um, <clears throat> deciding that the way to live and to find God is to have multiple sexual relationships at one time or all at once and for children to be watching adults have sex, for children not to know who their parents are, not living with their parents in a family unit, uh, I, f I think is really, really frightening. They seem to grow and grow, and uh, this is one thing we don't want in this small community because uh, we might finish up one of them. They moved enough people uh, into the city of Antelope, uh, registered them, and defeated us at the polls. They devastated our way of life. These Americans live in a little town called Antelope. It's what the Orange people did here, so the residents of Pemberton, that worries them so much. They have taken away our school. They have tried to take away our place of worship and may succeed. That's still in the courts. We, we don't, don't really know. As we found last year, the Orange people virtually own Antelope. They bought up property, took control of the council, and changed the street names to words the locals can't even pronounce. Now, those old residents feel like the new outcasts. Even their police force wear pink and purple. Like the old residents of Antelope, the folk here in Pemberton want their town to remain just the way it is. They want Jamison Street to remain Jamison Street. And they don't want their policemen dressed in pink or orange or purple. Well, that's one thing they don't have to worry about. Because unlike Antelope, you don't vote in your local sheriff or the judge over here. But even so, there are real fears in Pemberton that life here could be about to change. There are two things which are inevitable in life. One death, another change. So you're saying that there just might be some changes for Pemberton? If naturally it happens, I would say if you're intelligent, accept it. If you're stupid, suffer with it and enjoy the suffering. Remember I'm Sheila, the lady who says she'd shoot to protect uh, Bhagwan? As we said, she hasn't changed much. Sheila, what would you like to tell the people of Pemberton? I would say you're stupid, idiotic, stop behaving like little kids. Our children are acting more grown-ups than you are. Sheila is going about her master's work, out for the day on the luxury yacht of Perth millionaire Jay Harmon. He's a Rajneeshi too. <laughs> it's Jay Harmon who's got big money in that tourist resort the council knocked back. Why do you think they rejected your proposals? Why? Purely religious bigotry? The rumours are flying around that they're putting in offers for farms here and farms there. We this don't know who to believe. The local hotel, I've heard a rumour that they're offering to buy that. So, rumours fly. Every day, another story. There's even talk that Bhagwan might leave his ranch in Oregon to retire in the forests at Pemberton. There's no way. Bhagwan's going anywhere. For him, Australia is nothing. The man carries the whole of the universe wherever he goes with him. What do you think? Australia is separate from the universe? Look, what do you think of the idea of bringing him here to Australia? And so he could talk to the people... Very bad at, idea. ...the people of Pemberton. You must be joking. Why? To see these prune faces and fruitcakes? My God, I mean, kangaroos are better to view than those fruitcakes out there. What, what, what's that? Kangaroo? Kangaroo? Kangaroos. Or kangaroos. Uh -huh. Are much better looking animals than those prune faces.
Sheila, whatever your plans are, the folk at Pemberton are simply saying this. We don't want the Rajneeshis. We don't want the orange people in our town. What can I say? Tough titties. Hello, I'm Tara Brown. Thanks for watching. To keep up with the latest from 60 Minutes Australia, make sure you subscribe to our channel. You can also download the Nine Now app for full episodes and other exclusive 60 Minutes content.